Hey, this is Nevin again with Discuit, bringing to you another awesome season, season six already of the Discuit Cooking Show. Now, this whole season is brought to you by DukeCityLocal.com. Don't go away. Hey, welcome back. This week on episode one of season six, we've got a very special guest, Mr. Bob Gurdy. Bob, welcome to the show. Thanks, Neville. Love really great you. to be here. Today we're going to be cooking elk steaks, Diane. Well, I just bought beef instead of elk, but normally I cook it with elk. Oh, I love elk. That's my favorite. I love it better than beef. <laughs> so what we're going to do is get into this thing here. We're going to show you some awesome stuff here on using the disket with Bob's special deal. Now, Bob, you got something coming up here pretty quick. Uh, the show that we're going to be featured in, or not featured, but that we're, we're going to be part of on the 10th. Well, right? we certainly are going to feature you. You <laughs> bet. Anytime you show up, you're a feature. I'll tell you that. Oh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a great show. It's at uh, Expo New Mexico, right. 10th, 11th, and 12th of February. We invite everybody to come out, and while you're there, come see Neville and see a cooking demonstration with a discot. Yeah, we'll be doing live demos in both the uh, in our booth, and then we'll also be having the uh, the other training sessions. We'll be doing the uh, seminars with you. Yep. Um, there'll be some raffle a raffle with the discot at Good. the show, and uh, we're gonna have some great specials on our product and uh, go in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up this discot real Good. quick. Uh, why don't you tell me about some of the participants in your show, the people that are exhibiting? Well, we've got, we've got some really exciting people coming in. We've, we've got, actually, if you wanna see how a bamboo rod is made, a bamboo fly rod, really? there's gonna be a guy that handcrafts bamboo rods that's gonna be there, show you how to do it. We'll have an opportunity for you to catch a king salmon. <laughs> now, this is a virtual king salmon. You don't get to kick, uh, you know, catch it and eat it, right. but you can catch it just exactly like the experience of catching a king salmon, except it's all computerized on a TV screen but you get to hold the rod and fight the fish. <laughs> so it's gonna be a lot of fun. We've got a new thing this year, always before New Mexico Trout has had a fly tying symposium. Mm -hmm. And this year we're having the symposium really? at the show. Oh, wow. So you'll see the best fly tires in the state there. Do some absolutely amazing things. We've got uh, hunters and, and guides and outfitters from Canada, Alaska, Africa. We've got some Colorado, Texas. We're coming in, we'll have over 100 exhibitors there. Come in and look eyeball to eyeball at these people and get the best information you can get on your next adventure. And people are booking hunts, they're booking fishing. They're, they're booking all. They're buying ATVs. Absolutely, and there'll be ATVs and RVs there too. You're yes. right, we'll have some boats from Butte Marine will be there, but you get the real lowdown from the real experts. If you've got any questions about where to go, what to do, come by the show, we'll fix you up. Sounds good. Hey, we got the disket warming up here. Bob, what I'm going to do is uh, as we get your uh, elk steaks, Diane's ready, start getting these things on the disket because it cooks so quick. We're going to take a second. We're going to feature this week's Spotlight Disket. This week's Spotlight Disket is the Compound Bow Disket. Now, this particular one has been hydro dipped in camouflage, and we'll be featuring that at next weekend's Bob Girding's Outdoor Hunting and Fishing Show. Now, keep in mind, we have over 450 different disket designs. You can see that by going to our pattern section on the website, or give us a call, shoot us an email. We can't wait to make you one. So now that we got a chance to feature this week's Spotlight Disket, we're finally get into this thing. I'm ready to try these elk steaks, Diane. Bob, teach me how. Good, it's, it's simple. You start out with, this happens to be beef instead of elk, but I usually use elk. This is just a, a meat that's been cut from a sirloin and cut about a half an inch thick. So it's gonna be quick cooked. We're gonna take them off and we're gonna lay them out here and then I'm gonna pound them down so that they're thinner. I'll pound them down to where they're just about, oh, less than a quarter inch. Oh, wow. We'll just take them down. We'll tenderize them just a little bit. I'm thinking of a, a cow elk from Unit 16D ought to work pretty good, oh, huh? There you go. That, that'll <laughs> really work. But if you don't have any elk around the house, you certainly can use beef. And, and how do you get an elk around the house? Yeah. Go to the Bob Girding Show, <laughs> book hey, your hunt. <laughs> so we, we you pretty well tenderize these things. And they're down now to about less than a quarter of an inch. Now, do and I want the heat on high or medium or? About what? medium, I about think. Medium? Now, I'm going to take powdered dry mustard. Powdered dry mustard. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to put some dry mustard on. 
just uh, sprinkle it on just a little bit. <laughs> Never had powdered dry mustard before. Man, I learned too much on this show. <laughs> I suppose that you could use regular prepared mustard, but I've never tried it actually. And then to this, I kind of pat it in just a little bit. Then to this, I add a little bit of salt. A little Is that bit just of pepper, table salt or sea just salt? Just table or? salt, just regular table right. salt. And then we're going to put some good ground pepper on top oh, of that. He's got a two in one thing salt and pepper in the same thing. I need one of those. <laughs> well, that helps to have it all handy, right? Cheer. Okay, now once we get these, now we're ready to go. We've got we've got it hot. We're ready to go. We mm -hmm. put in a little have, bit about, of butter. About two, two, three tablespoons. Yeah. In that. About like that. Look at that. Okay, we'll wait for that to melt up just a little bit. Wow, look at that. Well, you make a great sous chef. <laughs> so we just throw these in, and they're gonna cook real quick. This is something that you can really impress your your family with. Get them in. You don't want them cooked too long. So what? Well, I take them in. Or? Yeah, just just because they're gonna. Oh cook wow! A look how fast more. that. What is that? Eight seconds? Yeah. <laughs> It's neat over a campfire too. Mm. If you're out in camp, okay. Now you turn that off. All right. If you would, okay. It's gonna cook just a second more. Man, that looks good. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna take these off for right now. The fire is off. We've got some some of the butter left. We're gonna save these here. And now we're gonna add some other ingredients. So now, while that's still uh, the cooling out, and letting everything, all the juices, the juices get back into yep. the steaks. Now, to this. We're going to take some Worcestershire. Worcestershire. <laughs> yeah, Worcestershire. <laughs> and how much? And we're going to add a little bit of Worcestershire, about uh, uh, two, what? I really should put this in another. And that disc has been off here for what, 30 seconds or whatever? Yeah. Uh, open that there for me. So I'm going to put this all together. <laughs> okay. I'm going to add. So you're putting the worst of char. What, what do you have in that in that tub there? I have chives. Chives. So I'm gonna add about two or three teaspoons, uh, tablespoons rather, of Worcestershire. Now I'm gonna come in with lemon juice. And oh, nice. really, you can add uh, actually, you can use whole lemons if you like, but uh, this is a little bit easier to do. Just to add this about two or three tablespoons of lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then to this also, I'm gonna take, there's always a little bit of moisture or fluid left from- Oh, from the actual steaks. From the steaks, I'm gonna add those in. From the Bull uh -huh. Elk 16D. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna put this in, and now we've got this, and deglaze the pan with this. Oh, wow. Bring so now we got the up. butter, you got the chives, you've got the Worcestershire sour sauce, and you've got the uh, the lemon, and now you're putting the steaks back We're into it. We're putting the steaks back in. Oh wow, just that smells so that up. good. Okay, bring that to a boil just to get the should lemon I, off. Should I turn it back on? Uh, I think we've got enough hot right now. Yeah, see, I, the thickness of the disc actually holds quite a bit of heat. So as you're cooking, even when you turn it I don't off, wanna, I don't want to overcook this because I really like my meat. We have a little bit of. A little bit of taste some, to it. Yep, some pink. Okay. And so <laughs> that's it. Now to finish this off, all that you really need, go to the store. If you guys want to impress your wife, do this with one of Nevin's great discuits. And it take about five minutes to do this is all. It doesn't take much prep time or anything right. else. Go to the store and pick you up some frozen, uh, like uh, potatoes that are half, half potatoes, you know, in the shell. Uh -huh. Cook those, put a salad on, and impress your wife. Put out a hell of a dinner. How's that? You know what's good about that is do that before you, before you take the show to the Bob Gerding show. Hey. Oh, you get her a nice meal the night before, and then she'll let you spend the money to get into that great hunt you're trying to get into Alaska or New Mexico or whatever. Bob, while you're doing this, uh -huh. let me take one second, and we're going to get into the Ask Nevin Anything section of this episode. This week's Ask Nevin Anything section for this episode is actually a tip. Now, there's a question that comes from Gerald and Artesia who asks, how do I clean the disc at stand? Now, if you, because this thing's sitting outside, whatever, if you get a little bit of wind blowing, some dust on it, whatever, the actual disc at stand is powder coated finish. So we've found that you can actually take some soap and water, wipe it down. After that, spray it down with a good old WD-40 and a soft cloth. That'll go ahead and take all the dirt off and shine it right up. So thank you, Gerald, for that question, which is actually a tip of the week here on the Ask Nevin Anything section. 
Now I want to roll into this week's featured business. I'm Bob with Outdoor Adventures Hunting and Fishing Show to be held at Expo New Mexico on the 10th, 11th, and 12th of February. Come join us and see all of the exhibitors that come in from Africa to Alaska, from Colorado to Texas. Come see RVs, ATVs, and boats. Join the real experts with seminars and demonstrations about outdoor adventures where you can plan your next outdoor adventure. Come join us at Expo New Mexico, the 10th, 11th, and 12th of February. So now that we're back from the Ask Nevin Anything section of this episode, we're about ready to plate. But before we do, you know, you guys just saw the feature business. Bob Gurding's got this awesome Elk Steaks Diane set up over here. Well, we're going to do this week for Bob Gurding's show next weekend. You better be there. We're going to give away some free tickets. How are you going to get in there free tickets? Go to our Facebook page and share this video on your Facebook page. Don't do Facebook yet. Send us an email. We're going to put all the entries into a drawing. We'll get you some free tickets. So make sure you get into that. Now, uh, Bob, I'm ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm dying for this thing. Um, <laughs> as we get into this, I know uh, just before I go ahead and get into this, I want to give a, uh, a big thank you to our sponsor, DukeCityLocal.com, who's bringing to you the entire episode, uh, the entire season of this Disky Cooking Show. We want to find out anything that's going on in, in town. Check out DukeCityLocal.com. Now, a lot of you guys are from all over the world. Come to Albuquerque. Check out Bob's show for, for this thing here. And uh, we'll go from there. So now I'm going to get ready to eat my elk steaks Diane cooked on the disket. How's that look? Oh, it looks I'm awesome. Gonna, I'm, I'm going to add just a little Ooh. bit more sauce because that's why we do the sauce. We put the sauce over here. And now I'm going to give you a fork. Yeah, Bob's going to hook Because we got to try it right now. And I'm going to try it too because <laughs> I'm ready. Right on. Let so, me know. We've got Elk Steaks Diane on the disket. Cooking outdoors has never been better. Mm. Oh man. Some really good flavor. That mustard adds a little bit of bite. The chives are nice. Mm. Worcestershire sauce and that lemon comes through. And see how easy that was? Nothing to it. Mm. And believe me, if I can do it, anybody can do it. And this is a sensitive show. Normally, I have to catch fish to do this, Kevin. <laughs> and now we got some elk. Yeah, we got some elk. <laughs> yep. Good. So thanks for being part of the show, Bob. We're looking forward to being there with you next weekend. Cooking outdoors has never been better. Disc it.